stay tuned for a giveaway. The biggest lie that you've ever been told is that CS2 skin trading is dead. The year is 2024 and Buff163 recently banned all Westerners from using their website. CS2 skins are the least liquid they have ever been and because of this, every CS content creator says that making money from skin trading is impossible. I'm here to tell you they are wrong. If anything, now is the best time to start making money from skin trading because there is the least amount of competition out there. So if you want to learn how to make hundreds of dollars a day from CS2 skin trading for yourself, stay tuned because because I'm about to teach you everything. I'm giving away this Stat Trek Factory new Ursus Knife Tiger Tooth when we hit 50,000 subscribers. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Let's get into it. People are always asking me what the best marketplace is to buy and sell their skins on. Look no further because the answer is today's sponsor, GamerPay. GamerPay is the best peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website out there, and to prove it to you, they're even offering you a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro transaction. One cool feature they have is, on top of showing the GamerPay listing price, they also display the cheapest buff listing price for the item you're looking at so you can see how much of a discount you're actually getting. They also have a 0% buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee. So if you're looking for better prices than buff and 5 euros for free, sign up with my link in the description today. When I think of the golden days of CS2 skin trading, I think back to the days before the 7 day trade hold was even a thought. When players like you and I could receive a skin in trade and instantly flip it to another player for a few dollars of profit. Sadly, those days of CS2 skin trading are over, and I think that's what a lot of creators mean when they refer to the death of skin trading. But instead of constantly reminiscing and regretting not making more money when it was that easy, all we can do is adapt. And in 2024, there are plenty of new ways to turn a profit from flipping CS2 skins. So today, I'm going to show you an in-depth guide into what I think are the two absolute best money-making methods for CS2 skin trading right now. The first method I'm going to dissect for you guys is something that I like to call the marketplace method. And in order to fully understand it, I must first teach you about an extremely important but very basic financial practice called arbitrage. Arbitrage is the practice of taking advantage of the difference in prices on multiple markets to maximize your profits. I know, I know, words are hard for me too, so let me show you an example. Imagine if you found a field-tested AK-47 slate listed for $1.90 on GamerPay. But after doing some quick research, you found out that the average sale price of field-tested AK slates on CS Float is $2.10. So you buy the slate from GamerPay for $1.90, wait for the trade hold to end, and resell it on CS Float for $2.10. That's a quick 20 cent flip, which is more than a 10% profit. That, in essence, is what arbitrage is. Now, imagine you do this on a large scale, and instead of just buying one skin, you buy a few hundred skins a day. I'm sure you can see that profit will quickly add up. Unfortunately though, it's not exactly that easy. There are a lot of holes in this method and many different factors that can easily ruin your profit potential. Some of those things include fees and price changes. Obviously, in that arbitrage example that I showed, I didn't factor in the buying fees, selling fees, or withdrawal fees on either of the websites I named. If we take a deeper dive, we would find out that for non-elite members, GamerPay has a 1.5% bank transfer deposit fee, making the actual cost to buy the skin $1.93. Also, on CS Float, they have a 2% sale fee, so after selling the slate on there, we'd actually receive $2.05 in our wallet. CS Float also has a starting withdrawal fee of 2.5%, so after withdrawing that $2.05 to our bank account, we'd be left with $1.99 of cold hard cash, which is a true 6 cent profit or a 3.1% profit. But hey, a 3% profit is still a profit. It's just very different from our initial expected profit of 10%. Remember how I told you the definition of arbitrage is taking advantage of the price differences on multiple different marketplaces? This is exactly where that word multiple comes into play. You see, the more marketplaces that you are signed up for and have access to, the more opportunity you will have to find good arbitrage deals and to avoid the most possible fees. Every single CS2 skins marketplace has a different deposit fee, purchase fee, sale fee, and withdrawal fee. So the more marketplaces you have accounts on, the better chance you'll have to preserve your profits. If you're looking for some direction to start, my best piece of advice would be to use this resource called Price Empire. Price Empire is one of the absolute best price comparing websites for CS2 skins, and if you navigate to any skins page, it will show you a list of some of the most commonly used marketplaces to buy and sell skins on, and subsequently list the cheapest price for that skin on each of those marketplaces. From here, you can navigate to each website 
website one by one to safely sign up for an account on each marketplace, making it that much easier to snipe a low price skin when you do end up finding a good deal. Now that you're all signed up, you might be asking yourself, so how do I find good deals? And I have a few answers for you. One great place to find amazing deals on skins is on the deals tab of Price Empire. You can easily navigate there by clicking the red deals button in the bottom left hand corner of the Price Empire homepage. On the deals tab, there is a constantly updating stream of skins which have the best deals. These deals are calculated by their percentage off compared to buff 163 prices. Be careful though because even though these deals seem promising at a quick glance, that is not always the case. Take a look at this field tested 5.7 Nitro for example. Currently it is listed for 81.7% of buff price which seems like a no brainer. To make sure this is actually a good deal though, first search for the skin on Price Empire and take a look at its current listings on other websites. As you can see, even though the cheapest one on buff 163 is listed for $48.92, there are 12 other websites that have it listed for even cheaper, so this isn't actually a good deal at all. This isn't always the case though, you just have to be very diligent in checking to make sure the deal presented to you is actually a good one before blindly buying the skin. One other thing to consider when deciding on what deals you should actually purchase is the liquidity of the item. Take a look at this Stat Trek well-worn Nova Bloomstick for example. Price Empire says it's listed at 54.34% of buff price, but if we take a look at the Price Empire page for this skin, you can see that it has a liquidity rating of 0% and only 11 of them have sold in the last 7 days. So sure, this might be a relatively decent deal on a skin, but you have to decide if it's actually worth purchasing because there is a chance you'd be stuck holding this skin for a long time and might never actually be able to sell it at a higher price than you bought it for. On top of the Price Empire deals page, one other amazing resource I use for finding good deals is on Skinport. Skinport is one of the largest and most trusted CS2 marketplaces, period. From the main Skinport page, navigate to the Market tab. Then change the listings from Most Popular to Newest and highlight this Live button. Similarly to the Price Empire Deals page, this page will now constantly update every time a new item is listed on the site. This gives you an insane advantage to finding good deals. As you can see, there is a listed percent off tag next to the price, which suggests how much of a discount the item is listed for. Something to keep in mind though is that the discount percentage is based on the percent off price of the Skinport suggested price, and the Skinport suggested price is based on the median Steam market price of an item in the past 30 days. So this isn't always the best indicator of if you're getting a good deal or not. Traditionally, most third-party marketplace listings are 15 to 35% off of the Steam price of an item. So your best bet for securing a profit on an item on Skinport would be anything above a 35% off discount. Even then, I would not suggest insta-buying skins that you see with a 35% off tag without knowing what price it usually sells for elsewhere. You can easily figure this out though by checking the Price Empire page for an item like I showed you before. Then, when you do end up finding a good deal, simply add the item to your Skinport cart and check out. One cool thing about Skinport and some other sites like GamerPay as well is that they allow you to sell your skins even if they're still on a trade lock. Because of this, websites like that provide you a whole other layer of opportunity to profit. If we take a look at the minimal wear AK-47 slate for example, you can see that all of the skins on a trade lock are listed for significantly cheaper than the ones which are tradable right now. This is because people are willing to forego some money for the ability to get the cash sooner. And on the same note, other people are willing to pay a premium to get a skin that they're able to use right now. You can take advantage of this by finding and buying skins on a trade lock that are listed at a crazy discount, then keeping them in your skin port inventory inventory without withdrawing them until the trade lock is up, and then relisting them at the premium tradable now price when they're ready. Since this method is done all in one website, it's not technically considered arbitrage, but it is the same concept as you're still buying low, waiting some amount of time, and selling high. This leads me to another thing I want to touch on in method 1, which is being aware of naturally changing prices over time. Every single example I presented to you in method 1 requires waiting for some amount of time between 1 and 8 days for the trade hold to unlock. Obviously, prices are not 100% stagnant, and like any other market, the prices of these items will naturally shift over time. There is no way to avoid it altogether, and all you can do is hope that it sways in your favor a majority of the time. Some things you can do to partially prevent it affecting you though, is to 1. Make sure the items you are buying are being bought at such high discounts that even if your item trends slightly downward over the week of the trade lock, you will still hopefully turn a profit. Or 2. Constantly be buying skins to trade so that you catch the average of the ups and downs which will still lead you to a profit. For example, it is known that there will always be natural periods of ups and downs in a market, so if you buy one large batch of items at the beginning of the week, and it so happens that the market has a natural decline for the remainder of that week, by the time your trade hold ends, you could be selling your items at a loss. But what if during the next week, the market trend stabilizes by rising to near the level it was at? Well, if you were constantly buying skins
times throughout this entire period, the trade lock for each item would end at separate times so your sales wouldn't all occur at once, meaning that you would maintain an average of the wavering growths and declines in the market trend. One final small piece of advice I have would be to pay attention to the floats of the items you're buying. If you're not totally familiar with floats, I recommend checking out some other videos on your own, but in short, floats fall on a spectrum within each wear rating or condition. For example, field tested skins sit on a relatively large float range spectrum of 0.15 to 0.38. Generally, floats below 0.2 fetch more overpay than floats between 0.2 and 0.38. The closer you get to the next lowest wear, the more money an item can be worth. This is an extra layer of skin trading that could provide you with even more of a chance to profit. Before I break down the second best method for profiting on CS2 skin trading in 2024, let's do a quick recap of the best beginner practices you should follow to start your journey to profits from the marketplace method today. 1. Sign up for as many different trusted marketplaces as you possibly can so you have the highest opportunity to arbitrage and to capitalize on profits. If you can afford it, I'd also recommend depositing money onto these sites so you are completely prepared to purchase an item when you see a good deal. 2. Use websites like Price Empire to study the market trends and sale prices for commonly traded skins. Start out by learning about more liquid skins and your knowledge will naturally expand from there. 3. Once you feel like you're ready, start small. Maybe just start with the skin port method as it requires the least knowledge and also the least amount of trading between multiple marketplaces. And also just start by trading more liquid items. This will provide you with the safest opportunity to grow your trading knowledge on a small scale until you feel comfortable enough to move forward. I'm giving away this minimal wear Nova Moon in Libra. To enter, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave any comment. The second method to profit on skin trading is what I like to call the bot trading method. There are lots of websites out there that use bots in order to middleman trades, even websites like Skinport, but for this method I am referring to traditional bot trading websites like SkinsMonkey, SkinSwap, and Traded.gg, where you can offer up skins in your inventory to instantly swap them for other skins on the website. For today's example, I'll use SkinsMonkey to show you everything, and before I do, here's a quick word from them. Today's video is sponsored by SkinsMonkey. SkinsMonkey is an automated trading bot site that allows you to quickly and easily exchange your skins at a fair price. Simply log in through Steam, add your trade URL, URL and you're good to go. And if you use my code, you'll actually get two bonuses on the site. You'll get up to $5 completely for free on your first trade, and you'll also have a permanent 35% deposit bonus anytime you add balance on the site. Best of all, under the freebies tab, SkinsMonkey is always running daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways, so even if you don't have any skins, SkinsMonkey is the website for you. So if you'd like to check them out, the link is in the description below. Okay, the way that these websites make their money is that they usually provide a really high deposit bonus to make it seem like you're getting more bang for your buck, but in reality, the prices of the skins on the website are inflated at an even higher rate. For example, as I said, with code WITERALLY, you would get a 35% deposit bonus on SkinsMonkey, but most of the skins on the website are listed at above 35% more than their true value. There's nothing wrong with this, it's just how they make their money, and it's actually part of the reason we'll be able to make a profit. The coolest thing about these websites, though, is that there is no overpay for special features of an item. For example, I own a very low float StatTrack Factory new P90 Cold Blooded with a cat of it's a 2014 Titan Hollow sticker on it. On traditional skin marketplaces, this thing would be worth at least $1,000 due to float and sticker overpay. But on SkinsMonkey, all StatTrack Factory new P90 Coldbloods are worth around $100 no matter the float or what stickers they have. This is true for every weapon on the website, and this is actually one of the features that allows us to profit. So the first step to making money on SkinsMonkey is to deposit money on the site so that you're completely prepared when you find a good deal. As I mentioned before, directly depositing money on the site via banking, credit cards, cards, etc. only gives you a 35% deposit bonus, which usually isn't enough of a margin for you to profit. Instead, the best way to deposit balance on the website is with skins that provide even more of a bonus. Take a look at this StatTrack Factory new P250 Visions for example. As you can see on Price Empire, the current lowest listing for one of these is on CS Float for $15.84. Over on SkinsMonkey, you can deposit one of these bad boys for $23.29. If you divide $23.29 by $15.84 and multiply it by $100, you find that is a 147.03% difference in price, which equates to a 47.03% deposit bonus. Now, what I'd recommend doing is making a spreadsheet similar to this one and going through a bunch of different skins that you either already have in your inventory or can purchase on other marketplaces right now and figuring out the percentage difference for each of those items. Keep in mind that the percentage difference column is simply calculated by doing the skins monkey price divided by the third party price and multiplying it by 100. Once you have the statistics for a bunch of them, I'd recommend only deposit 
depositing ones above around a 148% difference. The higher the percentage you're depositing at, the more opportunity you'll have to profit when we're looking for skins to flip. Now, let's say I deposited these six skins. This means that I have an average deposit percentage of 152.42%. This then means that any skin that I now find on Skins Monkey that has less than a 152.42% difference from what we can sell it for on other marketplaces will make us a profit. Keep in mind, depending on what website you're buying from, there will be different amounts of fees as I mentioned before. Let's say that for this example, I bought all of these skins from GamerPay. That would mean that there was a 1.5% deposit fee on the item. So I would actually only profit on items that I buy below a 150.92% difference on Skins Monkey. Now let me show you exactly how to find skins to buy and how to calculate those percentages for yourself. Back over on Skins Monkey, what I like to do is search by minimum float because as I told you guys earlier, low float items can usually fetch some overpay. From here, we can see that this Ursus Knife Fade has a triple zero float, and if we just quickly price check it on buff, by the way, you can price check it elsewhere too, but buff 163 is still the easiest place to do so in my opinion. We find that triple zero float Ursus Fades of a similar fade percentage are going for around $626. Just to be conservative, let's assume that we could only get $610 for it. Now, if we do $781.30, which is the price of it on Skins Monkey, divided by $610, which we safely assumed we could sell it for, and multiply that by 100, that gets us a 128.08% difference. Now, if we subtract 128.08% from our average deposit percentage of 150.92% after deposit fees, that gets us an overall profit percentage of 22.84% on this item, which is amazing. And I know I just showed these examples with more expensive items, but you can also do this on a much smaller scale. You can easily find cheaper items to deposit with an above 148% deposit percentage, and once you've done that, while searching in Skins Monkey to find items to buy, after sorting the page by minimum float, you can then set the maximum price to whatever your budget is and work your way up from there. For this part, I would also suggest making a separate spreadsheet like this one to calculate the ROI and final profit percentage on all of the items you might purchase. This will make keeping track of everything much easier. That's it boys, in my opinion, these are the two easiest methods that exist right now to make a profit from CS2 skin trading. It's literally as simple as that. If you have any further questions, I always try my absolute best to respond to every comment, so feel free to ask in the comment section down below. Lastly, I just wanted to say feel free to join our Discord server with the link in the description. We do weekly skin giveaways in there which are separate from the video giveaways and there are always hundreds of people in there hanging out. We're about to hit 4,000 total members, so come join the game. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.